Beyond a one meter thick piece of glass, spent nuclear fuel is being extracted from a reactor. Nuclear fuel was stored next to each reactor in a storage pool. The cooling system in the pool stopped working and water levels started to go down. In the worst case scenario, a meltdown could have occurred in the pools too. The spent fuel kept piling up. It now amounts to 17,000 tons for Japan as a whole. Some nuclear plants could run out of storage space in about two years if they were to go back online. What can be done about this nuclear waste, which has nowhere to go? The disposal of spent nuclear fuel and radioactive waste must be part of all future discussions of nuclear power plants. The Fukushima disaster opened our eyes. Now that we know the dangers of radioactive waste, we can't keep putting the problem off for future generations to solve. That's right. We've been soft on ourselves. The parties involved said it takes time. So the government and communities forgave them for failing for more than 10 years to make progress toward finding places to dispose of waste. But we can't allow this to go on. It's been two years since the Fukushima accident. The government has decided to allow Japan's nuclear power plants to restart once their safety is confirmed. But is that enough? More operating plants means more spent fuel and more nuclear waste to be disposed of. Plant safety is vital, of course. But we also need to find safe ways to deal with radioactive waste. Only when both issues are resolved can we start talking about restarting nuclear power plants. We have no choice but to look this problem squarely in the face.